So what's the difference between obeying the boss at your job as opposed to obeying your husband that loves you mm -hmm. and it actually is gonna let you exactly. enjoy the fruit exactly. of everything that comes out everything. of your obedience. Everything, everything, everything you know? will be taken care of. Right. You yeah, working yeah. for this guy, and they go work for someone else. Yeah, right. I and, agree and with he's that. not sharing the, the full benefit exactly. of what you at all. Know. They don't even care about you. Exactly. Something happens, you're out of you here. You're sick. Yeah. What up, though, YouTube? It's your boy Kelvin J, and I'm back. Today is Sunday, and I'm out here in California still. Today is my last day, and I'm going to be heading back, but. Uh, Jesse Lee Peterson is going to be having some church service today, Reverend Jesse, and I figured I'd try to meet him at the church, so right now I'm waiting for my Uber to come, which is a Jeep, so that's pretty cool, because I have a Jeep, and I like Jeep, and yeah, we'll see how this day goes, I want to try to get some fire freestyle done, but I really don't know how that's going to go at all, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. But I catch up with y'all later. So I just got here at the church. We're at the bond in front. As you can see, what are you building from now? So I'm going here and see what's going on in church. Yeah, like a YouTube channel? Yeah. Kelvin J. Kelvin J. K-E-L-V-I-N, letter J. One of the most interesting things about the Bakkebowl in terms of this, um, this uh, sexual, you know, war where men and women are kind of being, you know, pitted against each other. I've always had this attitude, or I've come to the understanding that men are better than women. Mm -hmm. Truly better than women. But women are superior to men. Women are superior to men. How so? Superior in that here it is. And, it, and this is the one thing that God illustrates to all men, and he does it in such a perfect way that there's no way you can even argue the point. And the, and the point is, when you look at the Samson and Delilah story, here you have this supernaturally empowered man. He's able to defeat armies with the jawbone of an ass. He's able to defeat the political leaders of a whole nation just with the power of his thinking and his mind. But what brought him down? A woman, and it wasn't even a good woman. She was a That's whore. Usually, what is, what is, like, she was a whore of a woman. But wait, been the wait. Same for me. I know, but think about it like this, though. Yeah. He was like Superman. Yeah. He had On the strength of a hundred men. Yeah. He could defeat armies, but a raggedy whore of a woman brought him down to nothing. She wasn't even a, a, a virtuous woman, but the thing that she was was a beautiful woman, and it's the beauty of a woman that makes her superior because a beautiful woman, if she really knows what she's all about, if she recognizes what God has given her, it's at a point where she can literally put a man to work. She can literally enslave a man to take care of her and provide for her. And this is what we see a lot. Well, the thing is, this is what patriarchy has been not accused of. We've been accused that men have been oppressing women, but no, women have literally placed men. Are you going to? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Men have placed women in a position where literally like somebody on YouTube recently stated that most men can literally live on about 10% of what they earn. Mm -hmm. But the only reason why they don't is because, because of women. Because of women and yeah. children. Yeah. Yeah. So who's really being enslaved? In patriarchy, the man is the slave and the women and the children are the slave masters because literally all of what he earns and works for goes to them. Yep. Well, I mean, that's what I've yeah. suffered with. You know, I joined the military at 18. Yeah. So, and I grew up in regular black communities, no, no, not that much money and all uh -huh. that. And, you know, from 18 and up with a lot of my, my exes, you know, I had money. Yeah. yeah. You know, I was young, had money, I was able to buy what I want, credit was great, you know what right. I mean? And looking back on those relationships, you know, I've spent, I've spent a lot of money, you know. Right. And I wouldn't say like in a, and a being used type of format right. or anything like that, but just, just the nature just, you know, of, yeah, man, like I have my, yeah, money, that's the nature money, of yeah, you know, Please. but even though you have it to do it, mm -hmm. you still should, it's not something good to do. No, it is, you know what I mean? because that's the nature of men. That's what we do. Do you like, think it is good to do it's, it? It's good. Now the I thing think is, it's good women, for your wife, for well, a woman who's really truly becoming your wife. 
Yeah. But me, I was, I mean, these are girlfriends. You know what I mean? These are right. girls I'm dating, girlfriends. They really didn't deserve any of that. Really, when you really no, look but, back. No, but, but, but you gotta remember this. Adam didn't deserve anything that God gave him, but God gave him the world, uh -huh. gave him dominion, gave him power, gave him a woman. Everything that he got, he didn't deserve none of it, but God, even he, he placed him just underneath the angels, but the angels had to worship Adam. Yeah. yeah. So he got everything he didn't deserve, but that's what men do. We naturally do it, but women, when they try to be like men, they do it, but they don't really do it in the same manner that we do. Mm -hmm. And that's when they get sick, that's when they get attitudes, and that's when they start living with regret to say- their emotion takes Yeah, away. and that's when they get cats and stuff, and that's when they start hating men. Cats and you stuff. You know, because <laughs> they, they actually realize the mistake they made, but they, yeah. they're too proud to basically admit they're wrong and, and make the recovery. Yeah. Like my ex-wife, she's stuck. I told her like a couple of days ago, you're stuck in that your pride is gonna force you to continue to work as a nurse, even mm -hmm. though I make double your money. Mm -hmm. There's no reason for you to have to work. Yeah. And if you actually came and helped me with my business, I could probably make three to four times what I'm making now. Uh -huh. But you are so right. stubborn that you would rather make half of what I earn instead than, of this. to have this 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 deceptive idea of being uh, safe from, from me oppressing you <laughs> and enslaving you. Yeah. Cause that's, that's what women say. You know, I can't trust a man. That's the reason, like black women, I can't trust a man mm -hmm. to take care of me. And I'm saying, yes, you can. But you can't be a dumb woman mm -hmm. thinking that you can just do whatever the hell you want to do under those circumstances. Cause even at your job as a nurse, cause she's a nurse, yeah. she's got to do what that white man or whoever supervising her tells her to do yeah. in order to get the check. I completely agree yeah. with that. So what's the difference between obeying the boss at your job as opposed to obeying your husband that loves you mm -hmm. and it actually is going to let you exactly. enjoy the fruit exactly. of everything that comes out everything. of your being. Everything. Everything you know? would be taken care of. Right. You're yeah, working yeah. for this guy. And but they'll go work for someone else. Yeah. Right. I and agree and with he's that. not sharing the, the full benefit exactly. of what you're At all. Doing. They don't even care about you. Exactly. Something happens, you're out of here. You're sick. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, give me a new one. I need a new but body. with your husband, you guys can go to the poorest of the poor and still be together and re come exactly. back up. You know what I mean? It's not exactly. going to happen with your boss. Exactly. Well, unless right. you're sleeping with him. That's all. <laughs> right. And so those are the things that That's a whole most women today are not paying a lot of attention to. And they're listening to these eyeball messages from feminists that to me, they're doing their job. They're, they're making sure that women grow up hating men and ultimately hating themselves and hating the fact that God made them beautiful. Because mm -hmm. most of these women that really hate men, they're, 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 they're too manly, mm -hmm. you know, and they don't want to do what Very. it takes to be beautiful. You I'm know, overweight, you know, and they feel like, well, men should love me for more than just my beauty. And I'm saying, well, you know what, the moon, it gives off a different light than the sun. It's not that I'm like. I think was like, I'm talking about this gathering because in these courses, they're all over the world now, and they just they recorded the guy giving him parting the course in 1980 something. Uh, or a couple of different courses for the video section, for the sound section, and what have you. But they basically use archival material of the teacher who died a couple of years. Ago. Like, but it basically means when you go and take this 10 day course anywhere in the world, you're getting exactly the only good course as everyone else. And they, they translate it, they have it in every language. And if you go and take the course in Finland, they'll pull out the recordings for you so you can hear it in your mother tongue. And if a Finnish person comes to the US, they'll pull it. So they'll be sitting there in the meditation with their own workmen with the recording. But it's just the instruction. And then in the evenings, you get about an hour of uh, theoretical. Uh, so which is like Dhamma talk, which is like when you hear Jesse talking. Like when he opens up the radio show and he says this, just starts talking about the familiar stuff, and he comes at it from various angles. And so you learn about the history of the technique, and you learn about how the life of the Buddha and how it is that he came to discover and teach the technique, how it spread out, and then at one point it started to die out, and then there was just a few people in Burma who kept practicing it. 
Some one of them look like a good small rocker, and one of them look like a yoga chick. And it's like they don't know the picture. His name is going to, yeah, this is, I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah. if you go to Vipassana, I mean, they the, say that with, like, I have my chest and my stomach. Uh, that's that's this, because you've got a lot of people out there claiming to be a lot of Everything I draw, I draw my tattoos. I wanted to have some focus. I never wanted to be sure that I'll try one. Yeah, like, I just like anything in the visible is our group. I just like you with me. That creative, you never know what might come out of you. And it's so simple. Nice. All you're doing is observing your, yourself I like right? from moment to moment. That's my thing. When I was younger, as I wanted to have my like, pages and all that. Primarily kinds of sensation in the body. I ended up just getting too much. You basically start with breathing. Now that I'm older, I don't see myself doing anything. Focus your attention on this area. Can they do the layout of the job? You can feel the sensation in this area. Maybe you should say what's going on. You can do so. You're breathing. Three days, you just hear any, any oh, you got for 10 hours a day. He said, Shay, oh, you know, and of course, I you can't do that for five right. seconds. I love, I love that fear that's that he's running. You do that for two oh, seconds yeah. and your mind yeah. starts wandering. Yeah. But, then, we'll be able to whatever, I can't, I can't five we'll minutes later, yet. ten minutes, alone, half an hour later, or an hour later, the bell Castor rings, oil. and you're like, oh yeah, exactly. what am I doing Castor here? Oil. I was supposed Castor to be here. Castor oil, flash oil, and then you see, oil. But I, you like, like I said, I laced off my eyebrows. I started using flaxseed oil, right? and Castor oil to like, moisturize my face, and I'm putting a hair broken out, it shouldn't be it. I'm observing my thoughts. It's like, it's a bit more work for me, it could be a game changer. And I realize that, let's see what Amazon gets. I'm not in the moment. I'm watching this Amazon is so, but, yeah, He thinks he's outside of the box. He doesn't he's see that he's, he's still in the box. Uh, he's saying like, I'm observing my thoughts, and what I'm observing is that I'm still observing my thoughts. Yeah, I think my mom so that's the box that you're in. Stuff. But when you do that, for hours and hours and hours, there comes a point where you're like, oh, yeah. I'll give you like an organic one just to make sure they're not this using like a hard solvent. This is how I work. It's not me. I'm not... You can always try like a right. miscellaneous. Can I get uh, uh, some water? Thank you. Biotin. No, 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 there's no such thing really as me. It's just, it's just a whole bunch of products to start with here. So I just roughly bundle together in the moment like, to give this impression that there's such a thing as one So like you just use the same thing. This is the last thing I like I said, and I have a remember a memory skin. that happened to me with my mother when I was four years old. So where is that now? Same thing on this. Yeah, well, 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 but every time I come here, I'm just I'm always amazed at the different personalities. Yeah, yeah. 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 ever yeah. since that, uh -huh. like, uh -huh. I just accept these kind of I used to be in for just years, but and I wish, like, I mean, there's no extra thing, but had I been into it and coming on Sundays, I wouldn't wear anything I could to make sure that I was still at the top. Because I was looking for editing and there and finding classes. Yes, for the fall and season. That kind of stuff, but... Yeah, that's what I mean. I was talking about... Is it Ernie? Is it Ernie? Is it Ernie? Ernie? I was talking to him about... Uh, you know, he's getting some work, you know, I, I would definitely love the whole project team. Like, 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 yeah, you see that you're doing certain parameters and everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y